Hi friends, in this video, you will learn how complete linkage clustering works and how to draw the dendrogram with the help of an example. In this question, it is asked to find the clusters using complete linkage hierarchical technique and draw the dendrogram. These are the points given to us P1 to P5 and the distance matrix or the proximity matrix is also given. Now let's solve this question. The very first step is to find the closest pair of clusters and uh, the shortest distance in the matrix. You can see two here, which is between point P3 and P5. So the very first cluster will contain these two points. Now let's merge the two points or clusters P3 and P5 and formulate the new matrix, which will look like this of size four by four. Some of the entries are left blank here in the matrix because this is a symmetric matrix. Compute now the distances between the new cluster and each of the old cluster using maximum distance or complete linkage hierarchical clustering. Uh, distance of P1 from P1 is 0. Distance of P2 from P1 is 9. From P2 it is 0. Distance of P4 from P1, 6, from P2, 5, and from P4, it is 0. Now, this is to be noted that the distance of merged cluster P3, P5 from P1 will be maximum of the 2, 3 or 11. So, 11 will come here at it, as it is the maximum. Now, distance of P3, P5 from P2 P3, P5 from P2 will be the maximum of 10 or 7. So, 10 will come here. Distance of this cluster from P4 will be maximum of 8 or 9. So, 9 will come here and uh, here 0. So, this is how my new matrix of size 4 by 4 is generated. Same way you have to repeat and find out the next shortest distance which is 5 here so now it is required to merge the two points or the cluster p2 and p4 together now after merging the two clusters p2 p4 together my new matrix will be of size 3 cross 3 and now again we need to compute the distances so for p1 it is 0. The new cluster P2, P4 distance from P1 is maximum of 9 or 6. So, 9 is here. From P2, P4 it is 0. Now, next distance of P3, P5 from P1 is 11. From P2, P4 is maximum of 10 or 9. So, 10 will be here. And here it is 0. Now again look for the shortest distance in this matrix which is 9 and it is between P1 and P2, P4. So I will merge these two P1 and P2, P4 together and my new matrix will be of size 2 cross 2. Now let us compute the distances using maximum distance or complete linkage. Distance here will be 0. The distance of P3, P5 cluster from this new formulated cluster will be maximum of 11 or 10 because these are merged together. So, 11 or 10, 11 will come here and here it is 0. Now, at a distance of 11, all the clusters P1, P2, P4 and P3, P5 will be merged as a single cluster of size 5. Finally, let us look at all the clusters created using this technique graphically in this 2D plane. We started with point P3 and P5 and merged them as one cluster at a distance of 2. Then P2 and P4 were merged together at a distance of 5. Then P1 was merged with this cluster at a distance of 9 and ultimately we merged all these clusters together at a distance of 11. So, while creating the dendrograms, we can take a scale on the y axis from 0 to 11 and on the x axis 
mark all the points P1, P2, P4, P3 and P5. We started with merging P3 and P5 at a distance of 2. Then we merged P2 and P4 at a distance of 5. After that P1 at a distance of 9. Then all these were merged at a distance of 11. Right. So this is how uh, we can create the dendrograms. So that's all about the complete solution of complete linkage hierarchical clustering and how to draw the dendrogram. Thanks for watching.